Welcome to this session on the National Learning Recovery Program in the Matatag focus on literacy and numeracy. In this lesson, we will explore how the National Learning Recovery Program, with its focus on literacy and numeracy, is helping to address the learning gaps caused by the pandemic and how we, as educators, can support our students in this recovery journey. Reading and numeracy are foundational skills, and we'll be discussing how these skills develop through structured processes. We'll focus on the science of reading and the science of numeracy, both of which are key components of the National Mathematics Program. Let's begin by understanding the science behind literacy and numeracy recovery. Reading is an active process that involves several cognitive skills working together. The big six of reading, oral language, vocabulary, phonics, and word recognition, fluency, reading comprehension, and listening comprehension are essential components in helping students become proficient readers. Let's take a closer look at each of these components. 1. Oral language. Oral language is the foundation of all literacy development. Before students can decode words or comprehend text, they must first have a strong understanding of spoken language. This includes listening and speaking skills, which help them process new information and build meaning. In the classroom, encourage students to engage in conversations, share ideas, and listen attentively to others. Simple activities like storytelling, discussions, and group talks help students improve their oral language skills, which are crucial for understanding written language. 2. Vocabulary A rich vocabulary is vital for reading comprehension. Students who have a wide vocabulary are able to better understand what they read. Building vocabulary involves not only teaching new words, but also ensuring students understand the meanings of words and context. In the classroom, use strategies like word walls, flashcards, and direct vocabulary instruction. Encourage students to use new words in sentences and in real-world contexts. Activities like reading aloud and contextual word games can significantly boost vocabulary. 3. Phonics and Word Recognition Phonics is the relationship between sounds and letters. Word recognition involves recognizing whole words by sight, which helps students read more fluently. In the classroom, provide explicit instruction in letter sound correspondence and practice decoding through simple, repetitive reading exercises. Using decodable texts will help students practice phonics in context, enhancing their ability to recognize words quickly. 4. Fluency Fluency is the ability to read a text smoothly and with understanding. A fluent reader can decode words quickly and easily, leaving more cognitive resources available to focus on comprehension. In the classroom, encourage students to practice reading familiar texts repeatedly, focusing on expression, speed, and accuracy. Regular practice with appropriate level texts will build fluency and, in turn, improve reading comprehension. 5. Reading Comprehension Reading comprehension is the ultimate goal of reading instruction. It involves understanding the meaning of the text, making connections, and interpreting the author's message. In the classroom, use strategies like summarization, questioning, and prediction to support students' comprehension skills. Encouraging students to discuss and reflect on what they've read will deepen their understanding. 6. Listening Comprehension Listening comprehension is closely tied to reading comprehension. The ability to understand spoken language is a precursor to understanding written language. In the classroom, engage students in activities that require them to listen and process information, such as listening to stories, following verbal instructions, or participating in group discussions. Now let's turn our attention to numeracy, which, like literacy, is essential for student success. Numeracy is the ability to understand and use numbers effectively, whether in everyday life or in academic settings. Numeracy is about more than just performing calculations. It's about making sense of the world through numbers, understanding mathematical concepts, and applying these skills to solve problems. In the National Mathematics Program, 
The goal is to ensure that all students develop a strong mathematical foundation. Much like the science of reading, the science of numeracy involves a structured process that builds on earlier skills. 1. Number Sense The foundation of numeracy is number sense, or the ability to understand and work with numbers. This includes recognizing numbers, understanding their relationships, and being able to perform basic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In the classroom, help students develop number sense by engaging them in activities that involve counting, comparing, and ordering numbers. Use manipulatives like number lines, blocks, and visuals to support hands-on learning. 2. Mathematical operations and problem solving. Once students have developed number sense, they need to learn how to apply mathematical operations to solve problems. This requires an understanding of basic arithmetic and the ability to break down problems into manageable steps. In the classroom, provide students with real-world problems to solve, focusing on practical applications of math. Encourage them to think critically and explain their reasoning. 3. Mathematical Communication Mathematical communication involves expressing mathematical ideas clearly and logically, both in writing and orally. In the classroom, encourage students to explain their thought process, whether they are solving a word problem or discussing a math concept. This will deepen their understanding and ability to use mathematics effectively. Both literacy and numeracy are critical to student success, and the National Learning Recovery Program, through the Matatag Focus, provides us with the tools and frameworks to address these areas of need. By applying the science of reading and numeracy in our classrooms, we can actively support our students as they recover from learning gaps and build strong foundations for their future academic success. Thank you for your dedication and commitment to our students. Let's continue to work together in making a positive impact on their learning journey.